I think so, and I think that a lot of the you know the onus will come down on on the start of the Sheffield Eagles pack. I think if they can get that start right through the likes of Kirk and uh, and you know Brandon Douglas, we mentioned him pre-game, Ollie Roberts, Joe Farrell, you know they, they'll they'll be in for some joy tonight. Yeah, the uh, red strip of the Sheffield Eagles, red and white for them, the blue and white of the Swinton Lions as the teams make their way out here. So we're about to get underway. Then Swinton will kick off here Hold on. Mate, on you. We're good. yeah yeah go on mate <laughs> that's it go on, and away we go tackle made 10 away which way will they go he's just coming back to the right hand side here now oh a little step and a chance here for the first points of the night but somehow Jordan Gibson's been held up over the line that was a tremendous effort he looked a certain scorer there Aston this time is going to the right that's the way they're going to go here. He's going to run it through the hands. Wellham gets it away. Ben Jones Bishop going for the corner. Cuts in and he will score. Opening try of the night. And the Sheffield Eagles have got it over on that far side. And that was a little bit too easy. It was the old fella that got it, Quinton Lalu Tagago. My apologies to him. He sneaks over, though, in the corner. The Eagles lead by four. Yeah, and it all came off the back of that case error. And then the Sheffield Eagles just targeted once again in and around the rook, which what happens with that, players get sucked in and the space out wide and the catch and pass from the experienced Wellham to the even more experienced QLT sees the first point of the evening go in favour of Sheffield Eagles and just that catch and pass there beautiful stuff yeah the first time they've really gone to that right hand side and the execution the forwards are starting to enjoy this now well, they're coming back to this left-hand side. Here now the ball to Ben Jones. Bishop fires it. Not the best pass. Well picked up by Crimes, and he's going to go into touch. Great defence, Swinton. Super stuff, Mark. And that's exactly what I was talking about. This Swinton Lions team, they do work hard for one another. Well, it's going to be a Sheffield ball here. He's deeming that the ball was offloaded by Crimes, and it's going to be play on. So Sheffield get a bonus chance, and Aston's going to go straight through. Can he get it down? He's over the line. Corey Aston has got it down straight from the scrum. Well, all Swinton's good work. He's undone by a missed tackle right in front of the post. And the Eagles lead by eight. Yeah, they sure do. And there's a number of tries scored at this level from the base of the scrum. It's almost like sometimes teams, I'm not saying Sheffield do here, but teams do hold players into the scrum. And as a result there, when the remaining defenders get up, there's an almighty hole. And Ashton just sees it, too clever, takes the space and scores. And he scores right underneath the post. I'll be disappointed with the defence, though. He shouldn't be scoring from there, should he? No, he certainly shouldn't. As a player and back player, he just doesn't quite work hard enough. I think it's Gregson out of the base of the scrum. Roby in at dummy half, short run, sidestep, goes it! And has he got it down? No, he's tackled just short of the line. They're going to try and pinch one from close in here. And this time they're held up again. This time Gibson can't get the ball over the line. Well, look at that, the bodies are everywhere around that ball. You can see it just off the ground. And Sheffield at the moment just having to do some work before the break. They're still carting the ball forward. They're going to kick, kick charge down, and it'll bounce oh, up. The and they are away, and the Swinton Lions are going to get their first points, much to the delight of the travelling faithful. Well, the kick was charged down, and that was an absolute bit of brilliance there. And it was Gavin Roden who raced away, he got the bounce of the ball and the Swinton faithful, they're enjoying the night out in Sheffield now because the Eagles have been pegged back, 10-4, kick to come. Yeah, and it came off an early kick as well. And the kick pressure from Gavin Roden and the reaction there as well, just to pick it up and race away. Well, it gives his side a chance now, it's game on. The kick out of nine doesn't quite find where it needs to get to 
Huge chance now in this game. All the players on the left are screaming for the ball. They're going to just chip through now, going to invite Ben Jones Bishop to come and get it. It's bobbling around on the ground and eventually picked up and Sheffield get it back on their own try line. And they do incredibly well as well to get away and get over their own try line. Well, what's happened here? The Swinton players are celebrating, but the referees deem that there was a an offside there. Well, he thinks he scored. It'd be interesting to see that one again, wouldn't it? More frustration. It was Abraham who was in there. Let's have a look. I'll tell you what. Probably maybe got a case. Yeah. You might be like to study that one. Was it? Yeah, now again, sidestepping. Oh, it's a one on one still. Senny Lafayo. And Senny Lafayo tries to race away. That's a huge play there from the former Castleford Tiger. And that might just be a game breaker because Wellham now is away and he's got Ben Jones Bishop with him. Ben Jones Bishop might just win it for the Eagles. Senny Lafayo picks Swinton's pockets and Ben Jones Bishop scores the try that will take them to victory. Sheffield Eagles lead by 14 points to six. Well, the three old stages combined. Jesse Senny Lafayo with a huge player, ball steal. Chris Wellham, Ben Jones Bishop, all there. And it's heartbreak for the Lions, it really is. Because they played so, so well. But Ben Jones Bishop just ensures that these two points belong to Mark Ashton's men and the Sheffield Eagles as they continue to fly on in this league. <laughs> He's still got the pace, hasn't he? It was Wellham with a break. Draws the full back. And gives it to Ben Jones Bishop. And that is it. It is all over here at the Olympic Legacy Park. It wasn't pretty, let's not try and kid anyone, but come the end of the season, it's another two crucial league points for the Sheffield Eagles.